Hello everyone, this is day one of the 30 day water challenge and I just thought I would join my fish. That one is named Hannah Montana, the other one's Miley Cyrus, in case you wanted to know. I'm gonna make myself comfortable, I wanted this to be more of like a vlog, so to my friends and family watching, thank you, and to anyone new, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna document the first day and then I'll see how I go. If I have any struggles, I'm gonna document it or anything significant. Basically, I'm raising money for the water fund organization, so what's happening is that I'm only drinking water for the whole month of March, so I'm not gonna be drinking any coffee, and if you know me, I'm addicted to coffee. Any tea, any soft drinks, juice, you name it. I'm just going to be sticking to water. I just thought I'd add, I'm not sure yet if I should allow myself to have smoothies. I feel like that's a good healthy option. And no, I won't be sneaking any coffee in my smoothies or anything, but I'll see how I go because I don't drink smoothies that often. Yeah, I just thought I'd add as well. So last night I finished work at midnight and I was craving some nuggets. So I naturally went to order and then I realized, oh, I guess the water challenge starts today. So I remembered and I got a bottle of water from McDonald's. Just like one thing, I don't know why it should cost extra for us to order water instead of soft drink. I understand that it's like more packaging or whatever and I don't like buying bottled water. But yeah, like you'd think... I mean, it is a fast food joint, so I don't think they're really supporting healthy choices, but, you know, we're trying. Yeah, so I'll link my fundraising page in the description below. I'm probably going to upload the first week, and then I might do, like, a recap for the month. I'll see how I go, because it might be a bit uneventful, but I thought I would just use my platform to raise some money and some awareness. Um, and what this organization do, they raise money for people who don't have access to water, who don't have clean drinkable water or toilets or plumbing, just something that we all really take for granted. And for me personally, I enjoy drinking water. I love water. Sometimes I forget to drink it, so I get a bit muddled in the head. But yeah, I'm not one of those people who don't like the taste of water. I get it. I used to be like that when I was younger. But no, I genuinely like to drink water and I like I'm interested to see how this challenge will affect my health if my skin will be any clearer or if my energy levels will be any different because I am cutting out caffeine so it might be a bit hard in the first week. I'm really excited for this and it's actually not that bad of a challenge. I, I definitely know that maybe towards the end I will just be itching for something. I planned on doing this fundraiser last minute so luckily yesterday I grabbed some bubble cup. I don't really normally drink bubble cup but I got like a peach ice crush with fruit jelly so I guess that was my last hurrah and I had a iced coffee as well. So I'll keep in touch with you guys and I'll just be sipping on some water and just a reminder stay hydrated. Hey everyone, I'm here with Chungus. Try and spot her. <laughs> anyway, it is day three. I didn't vlog day two because I napped all day. The caffeine with withdrawals are real. I never usually nap anymore. I haven't really napped since I was in high school and oh my goodness, past two days I've just been napping non-stop. So hopefully the caffeine withdrawals end pretty soon. Otherwise, in terms of drinking water, this is my go-to bottle. Um, what else can I say? I did get McDonald's again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just been craving a lot of fast food. I did order a water. <laughs> it sounded like I was leading somewhere else there. No, I did. No, actually, I didn't order any drink at all. I didn't get a meal, so yeah, not much happening. <laughs> um, hopefully something interesting happens in the week, but it's very interesting to see how my body is kind of reacting to the change because I'm not only someone who drinks coffee like three four cups a day at most. Always start my morning off with a coffee no matter what and if I'm feeling like peckish I'll always just make a coffee with like a pastry so it's very interesting. But yeah at the moment my energy levels are just low, feeling kind of slow, very tired and my routine's all over the place. I started uni this week so I normally don't get up in the morning at all but I have a class at 8 30 and then I have work this week starting at 8 so it's been a struggle 
it's been a bad week to start this. I'm gonna, again, the donation link's gonna be in the description below. Any donation counts and I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how I adapt and adjust to not drinking much coffee and as i mentioned before i don't really drink that much soft drink the only time i drink soft drink is when i order pizza or mcdonald's so with that being said it is pretty regular now that i think of it yeah i normally drink a lot of juice sometimes i just feel like juice i know it's not the best healthy option but hey <laughs> and i'm still debating whether i'm allowed to make a smoothie the website doesn't say anything it just says tea coffee you know any other beverage so i might make a smoothie one day and if i do i might as well just throw in a recipe because i have copied a boost juice recipe it's called honey buzz and it's really good so i might i might throw that in somewhere also my friend mentioned that i have been cheating because i had cornflakes and i drank the milk at the end so i don't know what do you guys think <laughs> but yeah i i debated that it was cereal I didn't intend to drink any milk. I don't really drink milk on its own, but yeah. Anyway, that is day two and day three covered, and we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, no alcohol. So that'll be interesting in case I have any events coming up, but it'll be cool. It'll be cool. I don't drink that often, but when I do, it's like heavy amounts. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you some other days. Hey guys, I randomly did my makeup um, a few hours ago, so I felt like vlogging because I'm meant to, but also just appreciate the look. It is Friday. I don't know what day it is. I'm also very, very, very exhausted. Um, and I think I'm going through caffeine withdrawals. Now, if I didn't have makeup on, you'd probably be able to see my dark circles, but let me tell you, on the first day I napped, on the second day I napped, Basically every day I napped and I said at the start I haven't napped since high school and I know my body needs it But it's just been tough. I don't realize how much I've relied on coffee itself I also have plans this weekend and you know nonchalantly. Yeah, let's drink and then I realized I can't so it's not the end of the world, but I think I'm suffering more without the coffee and I'm sitting here in the kitchen, the coffee machine's right there, and it's just staring at me. So one thing I've noticed, um, instead of drinking coffee, I figured that I've been eating a lot more. I don't know if it's my body being confused with hungry and thirsty, but yeah, it's been <laughs> pretty tough. Today I had to wake up at 7am, which I rarely have to do, so just when I started this challenge on Monday I had uni at 8 30 in the morning and work rostered me on 8 a.m today and i thought i was fine i was getting through the day um i had some i had an assignment to do and then in the middle of watching one of my lectures i conked out so hey hot tip if you need to fall asleep really fast um just watch a lecture <laughs> and before i knew it i was asleep for like two and a half hours and now it's 9 30 and I'm not wide awake, I'm still tired, but as far as drinking water, I'm not a problem at all. I enjoy water, um, but my brother just ordered a pizza and he got a big bottle of Coke and I never drink soft drink unless it's with pizza or fast food because I feel like anything oily doesn't sit well with water. I don't know, that's just how I feel. I feel a bit like glug glug. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this pizza without some Coke. First world problems. <laughs> So it's Friday. It hasn't even been a week and I'm already dying. It's definitely withdrawals and you can tell because I've just been napping every day. So I'll see how the weekend goes. I do have plans on the weekend. I'm going to the zoo on Sunday. I'm very excited, but I will continue to stay hydrated and I'll, my brother's gaming. I'll keep you guys informed. And <laughs> only the first week i still have a whole month so hang in there that's what i'm trying to say hang in there hello everyone it's the end of the week it's sunday first week of the challenge i won't be vlogging the rest of the month but i will be uploading this first week so that you guys can check out the donation link below um i'll just fill you in with my thoughts got a nice cold glass of water my favorite way to have the beverage <laughs> 
What have I learned? It's not that I'm really reliant on caffeine. It's only week one and I'm still adjusting. That's what I've learned. I've also learned that I've been eating a lot more. I'm not sure if that's like a way of coping. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. I'm not sure if that's a way of me coping without the caffeine in my life. So that's been interesting. I don't think I've gained any weight in a week. But I also just thought I'd share with you guys what I'm eating now. Um, I'm eating coconut yogurt with frozen raspberries and blueberries, coconut sugar and chia seeds. And I've just been loving that. I found that a way to curb my unhealthy eating habits is just to... <laughs> oh my goodness! make healthy food um that i enjoy eating and i had no idea that it would you know link back with my water consumption but yeah i haven't seen the drastic change in anything else except for my energy level i have officially napped every day this week and like i've said countless times i'm not a napper i'm known to sleep for a very long time but i don't really nap anymore and Lola seems to agree. I will continue this month and um, if you guys want I can upload a video about the end of the challenge and I probably will because I will be having my first cup of coffee and yeah I don't think I'm gonna be giving up coffee entirely maybe one day um, but I just love it too much that I can't you know let it go but it has opened my eyes to see how much it affects my energy and yeah i do still stay up a bit late at night but my routine's a bit better and i've just noticed how much sleep i've been catching up on so it's been interesting and it's been fun for the first week and i've got a few weeks to go and yeah i'll tune in with you guys in the next video Bye. Hey guys, so it's currently the 18th of March, so I'm more than halfway this challenge and I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but unfortunately I am sick. So, I'm still drinking water, however I did get a bit sick of the taste purely because my taste buds are gone and it just hurts sometimes to drink water on its own. So I have been drinking tea with honey and lemon, I thought you guys would understand. <laughs> And I also have been drinking some juice to get my vitamins back up, but hopefully I feel better soon. I did also receive a free water bottle badge sticker and a free pass from the Water Aid Challenge for my personal donation. I'm not sure if that's if anyone donates $25, but because I donated over $25, I got that. So I was really pumped about that. I got a free water bottle. I always lose my water bottles, so that was a good thing. But yeah, I, I know the part free pass is only for one day, but I thought, you know, I'd just apply it for these few days that I'm sick. It's really hard to drink water when you've got a scratchy throat. Um, I still have been drinking water, but it's just tea is so much better. One mistake I made, I did drink earl grey tea which i like totally forgot had caffeine in it and i noticed i got a buzz straight away and that's not really what i want while i'm sick so i've switched from earl grey to passion fruit tea it's a bit weird but like i've been really liking the taste so a passion fruit mint chamomile any fruity teas anything caffeine free but it just really goes to show how people out there in the world have it so much harder than us and me catching the common cold um I'm already struggling, so yeah, I really appreciate you guys if you donated anything, even a dollar, I'd really appreciate it, and I'd like to personally thank, da -da -da -da. so so far we've raised $77, and I'd like to thank Nicole and Maddie for donating, thank you so much, and my goal is $250, it sounds a bit pessimistic, I don't think I'm going to reach it, but I do appreciate any donation. It means a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching for this vlog and I'll update you guys at the end of my final thoughts. I'll just do like a sit down video and yeah. Bye.